Well, we have with us a special guest. Many of you remember Steve Beam, radio personality in Watertown from back in the 70s, 70s? Uh, late 60s, early 70s. Wow, and you still Other got the pipes, 70s. may I say. Yeah, I left here in 1977, so I was on the radio At here. W, then W-O-T-T right. up on Gifford Road on there. Gifford Road, right. So you were a, a bit of a legend back then during a different era in, in broadcast. In my own mind. Okay, and you've been living in L.A., and every year you come back, and you, you're kind enough to stop here. I love it. And I one of the, miss it. One of the things you do, Steve, is, of course, you're up here for a big jazz festival. Uh, Blues, Blues in the Bay that we do uh, over Labor Day for three days. Uh, we're actually starting tonight. We have one band tonight, another band uh, Friday night, and then we have three or four on uh, Saturday and Sunday, and then we have a little jam session on Monday. So we, we kind of stretched it out a little bit this year. Usually I have to get a cold to get my voice that deep. Yeah, well... <laughs> just happened it does so that's this weekend up in alex bay yeah and what are the times again uh well we start tonight uh, from six to eight tomorrow night six to eight saturday at noon uh, sunday at noon and i believe monday at noon also okay and where is it held again uh right on james street right down by the town dock we have a stage outside we have a big tent that'll of course keep any rain away but we're not right. really expecting any and it also uh keeps the sun out so that's very nice too and the one thing i want to stress is it's a family friendly event so bring the kids every year we have a lot of children up there dancing around with their moms and dads and it's just about as much fun as you can have it's really a good I time. thought you would be glued to your television tonight to see the new Messiah give his acceptance speech. well you know I do intend to uh, make a little time for that I do want to see uh, the presumptive president uh, do yeah. this thing now uh, you'd think he was president from the setting well, you sure it. would you know yeah, yeah, Vesco sure Field formerly Mile High Stadium in Denver they've built this enormous stage it looks like a sort of a uh, Roman revival Whatever it's it like is, the Coliseum, pillars, yeah, yeah. Right. and it's it's quite uh, quite the uh, soiree they're holding there, and boy, the money spent. Oh, yeah. and, and we're told that we're poor, and the economy's bad, and we're suffering, yeah. and we can't afford this and that, but we can afford to spend $10 billion a month on a war in Iraq. Yeah, pretty and ostentatious. We, and we can afford to spend God knows how many millions on this this uh, pomposity at the, uh, in, in Denver, and g goodness knows what... Uh, John McCain will spend next week. Of course, they may be overshadowed by Hurricane Gustav. Yeah, indeed, indeed. Well, I'm so, sure it'll be a substantial amount. Uh, politics really knows no bounds when it comes to money. <laughs> right, so it should be, uh, for those who like politics, these are interesting times. And uh, Well, you should know that also. You probably raised several million dollars for your latest campaign, didn't you? Well, I, I, I have a small yeah. war chest yeah. uh, left over from the last time. Yeah. But it's nowhere near what, what yeah. these guys. <laughs> so 